What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode over here. I'm out with Private Water Fishing and they're talking about picking up this new property so we're kind of test fishing it and the results are pretty astounding man so uh, <laughs> stay tuned you got a good one today. All right, let's get these things launched. Got a decent one on the saucy swimmer, Torrance. Saucy swimmer, yeah. First one in the boat. I was unsure if I even had a fish. I didn't set the hook till halfway through the retrieve there because I didn't know if it was swimming or if I had some grass. First one in the morning. Dang, dude, this grass looks so good. Dude, this is a crazy spot. All right, all right. Torrance is on number two over here. Check this out, man. I got a new chatterbait. This is the Stealth Blade. These things just became available on Carl's Bait and Tackle. You guys, if you want to pick some up, save 30% on your baits and tackle like us. I grabbed me a couple of these. So you guys have probably fished chatterbaits a lot, essentially a bladed jig. And you know, you've seen us throw the jackhammers, which we like because of the hand-tied skirt, the double hook keeper, the stout hook. But what's brand new about this one is the stealth blade. Check that thing out, dude. It's a clear blade. Say what? We're about to give this thing a shot. I assume it's gonna thump just as hard, but I really have no clue. So let's get this thing rigged up. All right, we got a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer. About to rig this thing up for the very first time. Thing is looking killer. First look at the stealth blade. Check that thing out, rigged up, boys. Let's see what happens. Does she thump? Super weird, I don't feel a thump at all. Something is not right here, folks. Okay, I gotcha. I rigged it up on the wrong side. I'm like, wait a gosh darn minute. Now let's see. There we go, now she's thumping, okay. Yeah, so it's obvious how to rig the standard jackhammers, but the stealth blade, the way the little eyelet sits, you could rig it two different ways. You've got to rig it with the line on the bottom. There we go. He doesn't even have the hook. Oh my God. He didn't even have the hook. He was just bit down on the tail. That was interesting. There we go. All right. There we go. Come on up here. That's a that's a better one. That's a better one. How you doing, sir? Good morning to you. Top of the mouth hook set. All right. First one on the stealth blade chatterbait. Yeah. Oh my God. He just freaking jumped out of the water for it. Wow. All right, first one on the top water. Nice. Biggest one of the day too. All right. There we go on the Yoziri. There we go. Fatty. All right. Oh, he's about three pounds. Dang. Another blow up on the Yoziri. Big ones like that top water right now. Right as I was cutting into the grass too. Oh, God. He went after it three times. That must have been a little one. There we go. Got another one on the chatterbait. All right. His spot lock, because I've had a few hits here. Come on up. Right, all right, all right. Chatterbait fish, oh yeah. About 15 and a half. Documenting every catch for private water fishing, seeing the length and size. Here comes the breeze. Yep. I had to set the hook up that time. Oh, because I got those rods over there. This is my biggest one of the day. 
This is actually a really good fish, guys. Good fish, guys. This one might be a four pounder. This one might be a four. Yep. Oh, I hear you. Come on over. Come on over. That's a good one. There we go. That's a fat mama right there. <laughs> oh man. That's what we're talking about. Finally. I'm just gonna call it four plus for now. We'll weigh it though. How many pounds are we talking? Wow, that thing is hefty. Five pounder. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy smokes. Private water fishing, man. I think we should consider this property. It's only about an hour in. Torrance and I are probably eight to 10 fish a piece. Plenty of followers, and I rake up a five pounder. Okay, we're starting to feel pretty good. 5.11 on the dot, man. Wowzers. So fat, only about 20 inches, guys. All right, we're gonna get a release on this one. We'll give it 16 actually because I didn't pinch the tail. 2.35 pounds, 16 inch batter bait. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Have you seen it? No, he's like, he's like you haven't seen it? Yeah, you can feel it. That's funny. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Peacock bass over here. Horses. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. They fight here, man. There he goes. They're just hitting it a little further out now. We'll see you, bud. Chatterbait's still crushing it. Down to my last 3.3 inch saucy swimmer. I didn't bring too many plastics. Despacito. Swim bait rod, meet the jig. <laughs> Whoo, it's deep. Oh, oh. Got him, got him, oh my God. Got him. Dude, I saw him chasing it. I dropped it down. I opened the bail. He went down after it and then I stopped it. And he almost flipped my boat. <laughs> that was sick. That was the coolest catch ever. On the swim bait rod. <laughs> Yo. Dude, like a four pounder just chased the jig up. Three pounds. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> two, two and a half. I saw a four pounder. Four pounder. <laughs> Switching over to the jig, got it done. They're just a little deeper. This one's so fat, dude. What is going on out here? Da, 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 da. Two and three quarters. He's sitting at about 17. All right then, see you, bud. Okay, just realized the glide bait's here. I totally spaced it. I told Torrance I left these things in the truck, but I remember I put one in here this morning because I figured I might use it. <laughs> Specifically the bluegill pattern, which is perfect for this place. Testing out the new River to Sea S waiver. This is the 120 size and I don't have any pliers, so things could get fun. All right, does this thing sink? Yeah, that's what we like. Hey, okay. little real fun. Ooh, got a nice little swim. All right. We've been throwing glide baits on the channel a little bit lately. Nothing quite like this. First cast. Oh my gosh. First cast. And it's a uh, not a bass. Oh my gosh. It is a sunfish. Well, we got some action on the S waiver the first time we ever broke it out and casted it on the channel. Intriguing. I might need those pliers. <laughs> I'm about to throw them in as live bait. <laughs> yep. There we go. Hmm. Seems to only be attracting the bluegill at this particular spot. Oh, got him. He's got the tail. It's another one that just bite the tail. So funny. These little fish, man. There we go. Got one. Been a while since we caught one, so I just decided to switch it up to a little lunker log. Little wacky rig. 
And so with this one, I figured I would mention, look, he's fat and plump, so he's eating quite a bit, taking some of the food source from the larger bass. So what private water will have most of the members do is uh, let's say you start catching some fish like this guy, they may or may not have you remove any bass under 12 or 14 inches. Generally, I think I've seen 14 inches. So if you catch anything under 14 inches, you actually keep and hold on to it and you remove those from these private water lakes. That way there's better fishing for the members and those smaller bass aren't really ruining the food chain and just devouring all the little bait fish. And so you got a better pond to fish. With that being said, we know there's some bigs in here and actually quite a few based on their shock and then also today's fishing. So it's just a matter of finding where those giants go during the day after they've calmed down up shallow. So I was trying to cast into a little further off the, the bank here where some bigs are probably going out deep. Just kind of chillax, work this worm a little slower and see if I can't get another. La da 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 da. All right, y'all, another successful day with private water fishing. Torrance and I had an absolute blast. By the way, you can check him out down in the description. We have been fishing a whole lot and plan on more videos for you guys in the future. This was actually part one of the full day's worth of fishing. The second part I actually released sooner because I was so stoked. It was the video I caught my PB and uh, there was two different PWF properties uh, just right next to each other. And so we were test fishing this one here, the secondary, the one we fished later in the day is also a new addition to the site. So if you are in, and I know a lot of my viewers are, the Texas, uh, I shouldn't say the Texas area because that covers a lot. The DFW Metroplex and surrounding areas, private water fishing actually has almost, I think they're approaching a hundred different properties. A hundred different lakes that you can book and have exclusively to yourself for the entire day. Most of them with John boats on site for you to use at no additional charge. And so you can go out and have a blast. You can also take your kayaks. If you have a boat, some of the properties can accommodate and they have ramps built on site so that you can launch your own boat. And it's been a fantastic opportunity for me myself to film some awesome videos, get some great content for you guys, showcase some new baits and some places where otherwise other fishermen would already be targeting some of the best spots in the lake or leisure boaters putting around. Some of the other things you might have to do with as a fisherman when you're going out to the public spot. So take a look at private water fishing with the link down in the description and you'll be seeing more from us on their properties in the future. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let us know what we should do, what type of baits we should throw at the next private water spot. We have a lot of fun when we go out there guys. And so with that said, wraps up everything for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.